Suspect, Episode 1, The Murder of Mariah The scene opens with our main character, Ari. Ari was nothing special, they were the new kid cliché. Their hair was cut short and flowed in a natural, untouched way. Ari was short, about 5'1", and very skinny. They wore clothes that weren't tight or baggy. They walk in the school doors, which are big, heavy, and little. They then wander to the front desk, hoping it's the right place to be. Ari talks. Hello, I'm, uh, new here? I can see that. Okay, um, may I have my schedule? Sure thing, ma'am. Ari was non-binary, but their feminine features always gave them away. The front lady reached down in a drawer full of files. She seemed to be looking forever. Finally, she spoke. Your name. I need your name. Sorry, uh, my name is Ari. Is it really Ari, or is it short for something? It's short for Ariana. There's a lot of Arianas in this school. Oh, nice. I need your last name, ma'am. Oh, uh, Winchester. Ariana Winchester. Okay. And here you go. All students are reporting to lunch break, so please report there. Yes, ma'am. Ari walks out of the office. They look at their schedule, which says locker number 28, then they head over to it. While putting their stuff in, they hear a wicked laugh. <laughs> Ari looks around to see Mariah in high heels and heavy makeup, looking pretty but ugly at the same time. Mariah sees that Ari is there and walks up to her. Oh my god. There is no way my locker is next to this social reject. What? Mariah is popular. And a bully. Listen here, dipstick. You need to get a new locker before you stink up mine. Thank you. Just being next to you makes me look really bad. I won't even be here for long. I was actually just leaving. And it already smells bad. What are you? Raised on a farm? Because people didn't raise you. Maybe a cow did. Or a horse. I, uh... Mariah! Another character enters the scene. She carries a wolf cut on her head with flowing brown hair. She has the vibe of a tomboy. Wow, look at this. Mrs. Goodwill Barbie is bringing more toxicity in this school. Shut up, boy. Boy? <laughs> oh, you just made a huge mistake. She was mistaken for a boy a lot. Just leave the kid alone. They did nothing to you. Or what? Or your skeletal system isn't going to like me after I break every single one of your bones. Mariah takes off her earrings. She looks at the people around her, making sure they will see this. It will only raise her status once she wins. I always wondered what happened to you. I think all the blush got to your head. I just realized I was too good for you. <laughs> yeah, right. Bring it. Mariah throws the first punch. Sam throws the second. Four kids are sitting on a lunch table. Kyle, Liam, Kai, and Piper. They're all picking at the food, playing with it, besides Kai, who's scoffing it down. This lunch is disgusting. Kyle had a strong, natural black perm. He was fairly skinny. His smile was very goofy, as he was the goof of the group. It really is. It always is. 
Piper also had curly hair, yet it was red. Piper was quite the quiet one, but she will say what she stands for. I mean, it's not that bad. No, it's bad. Kai gets their book out and starts to read. Kai loves reading. Kai is petite, they have hair length that is just over the ears and is slightly wavy. Man, today I actually tried to look good. But the day I try, I look absolutely horrible. Liam is also popular, but he doesn't care for any of that. He stays with his friends of years instead of the popular group. He is well built and he is a football player. He has short dark brown hair that's almost black. Aw, what do you mean? I think you look great today. And only today? Well, I would say every day, but that's not gonna get my reputation up. It's already low enough. <laughs> yeah, fair. Liam, when is your game? It's at nine. Sweet, I get to see you in your uniform. You're weird. I'm Kyle, and it's true. Who doesn't think this man's attractive? Kai and Piper both raise their hands. You guys just can't see what I see. Either way, I'm only going to be there for the first and last quarter. I promised Mariah a date. A date? Really? Well, yeah. She's my girlfriend. <sighs> Speaking of the witch... Liam winces to the steps of a heel tapping on the floor. Mariah walks over with a black eye. She has a broken high heel in her left hand. Hot, hateful energy is raging off of her. I hate that him girl. Who? That scumbag that did this to me, Sam! She looks like she got you pretty bad. Look at me! I'm hideous! I got my new palette, my new pink lipstick, and my new contour, and now it's all in the wrong places. Liam, control your girlfriend. Look, hun, why don't you guys just make everything up? You guys were really good friends. Until she turned into a jerk. Hey, she is not. She just changed into someone she wanted, which is not a jerk. Why are you standing up for her? Why wouldn't I? Seems like you're the only one with the problem. Look at what she did to me! And it's our fault she went against you in a fight? Ugh. Looks like someone needs a chill pill. How about you shut it, gay boy? Or what? Or I'll shove that school lunch up your- Hey, hey, okay. That is enough. How can you hang out with these nerds? I don't know. Well, I think you should stop. It's going to ruin our reputation. Come sit with us. <sighs> Fine. Bye, guys. Piper, you look like a horse. Piper gets up as Kyle pulls her down. Liam and Mariah walk away. Piper, Kyle, and Kai get up and walk out of the cafeteria. Nova is in the girls' restroom, fixing her eyebrows. She has thin eyebrows and heavy base makeup. Her hair flows straight and it's very well taken care of. Mariah walks in. Must suck having caterpillars on your face. Uh, hi, Mariah. Mariah goes up to the mirror and starts fixing her makeup too. What happened to you? Small fight in the halls. I won, by the way. Congratulations. I think I need a trophy. Nova picks all her makeup off the sink and puts it in a small butterfly bag. I heard about the fight. You didn't win. It was Sam who won. Physically, sure. What's that supposed to mean? One will never know. Mariah applies lipstick to her face. Nova walks out. She crosses Jones. Jones has blonde, short hair. He's quite chubby around the face. He walks into the men's bathroom, meeting Kai. Hello, sir. Uh, ma'am. I mean, uh, human being? See, Kai is also non-binary. Jones tries his best to understand the new norm, but instead of Kai correcting him, they just sit there and stare. Okay, well, I see you're at the top of the class. Uh, how cool is that? Well, I think it's pretty cool if you ask me. Jones awkwardly goes into a stall. Jones yells from the stall. You see, it's funny. 
Now, I never actually met someone who was so quiet but smart. Usually they're talking, like, all the time, and sometimes they're just a bit quiet, but always really have something to say. Well, gee, I remember this one girl I met back in elementary school. She was, like, very smart and outgoing, but in middle school she got kind of all closed up. Oh, kind of like you. Ah, oh, it's really strange, but I understand. Well, sometimes I wonder, what's happened, though? Well, hopefully she's okay. Now, boy, uh, wait, ugh, sorry. What is it I should call you exactly? Like, kid or child? Well, we aren't really children, so that'd be kind of rude. Like, person? Well, I can at least call you friend, right? Jones opens the stall doll. No one is there. All right, understandable. Maybe next time I can be a little less talkative. Ari is walking in the halls heading to lunch. They are very quiet, looking down, thinking of the words that were said by Mariah. The second they look up, there is a person also looking down, but heading directly towards them. Kai. They bump into each other and fall. <coughs> I'm so sorry, um, it was my fault, I wasn't looking- No, I apologize. Kai picks up all their stuff and walks away. What? Ari walks into the school cafeteria and sees an empty table. They go to it and sit. There is a book left on the table, the same one that Kai was reading before. Ari looks at it and opens it. The front says... Kai? Ari puts it in their bag and gets out their lunch. They hear yelling from another table. It's the nasty words of Mariah. Right next to her was Liam trying to hold her down and Nova trying to cut her head off. I hate you, Nova! Calm down, Mariah! Girls! Oh my god! I will rip the hair out of your head. I will kill you! You literally have worms as eyebrows. What? Look at you! Y you look horrific! At least I don't look like I was born in a zoo. Girls, stop! <laughs> oh, How fun please. this is going to be. Ari takes a bite of the food and makes a face of disgust. Surprised you even got that insult. Because you're as dumb as you look, and considering how ugly you are, that is not a compliment, sweetie. Funny how someone who uses their last brain cell to put makeup on their face is telling me I'm freaking stupid. Oh, get used to it, Nova. You'll always be beneath me. You'll always be second to me. Transition to a girly room. I'm talking sparkly mirror, a huge purple bed, and some small teddy bears bundled up in the corner. Mariah comes out of the walk-in closet and sits on the stool next to her mirror. She grabs a brush and starts brushing away her long, blonde, curly hair. Her eyes then grow big.